Hi everyone, New England Gardening here. I just took my fig trees out from the cellar. Uh, it's currently 38 degrees and it's raining, as you can hear. But I thought it would be a good idea to uh, get some rainwater on these instead of, instead of tap water. And also, uh, I can take the opportunity to talk about, uh, talk about chill hours. So, uh, I've had these in the cellar, which is not ideal because it's uh, warmer than 45 degrees in the cellar. And fig trees require anywhere from about 100 to 200 chill hours. And uh, that's the number of hours between the temperatures of 32 to 45 degrees. And during that period of time, they're dormant and resting. And that rest period allows them to uh, have enough energy to go into the next growing season and produce a good crop of figs. So we've had single degree temperatures around here uh, recently, so we really could not put them outside, especially you know, considering the, the wind chill. So I decided to get these out. I've reduced the number of uh, trees I have, so it's, it's still a lot of work, but it takes me about a half hour to get these outside. So I'm doing the uh, fig shuffle. And uh, it's only today and tomorrow, I think it's gonna be kind of warm. Uh, Today is going to be the warmest, like I said, 38 degrees, and the low will be uh, in the 20s. Now, today the low is going to be uh, above 32. Tomorrow it'll be in the 30s, but the low will be uh, in the upper 20s, so I can keep these up maybe two days, two and a half, or uh, one and a half days. But yeah, um, I found that if I have these in the cellar, and since it's above 45 degrees, that in about a month, a little over a month, I run the risk of having uh, the buds start to break and the trees coming out of dormancy. And really, at that point, if you, you have to put lights on them, uh, and they're going to grow spindly, and you'll have to transition them when spring comes along. And in my case, I usually just burn the leaves, and that sets the tree back. So I decided to see if uh, I could gain some more time by putting these out and subjecting them to some cooler temperatures than what they're getting in the cellar. And again, also beneficial rainwater. They were getting a little bit dry. So I just thought I'd talk about chill hours uh, in this video since uh, that's why I brought the fig trees out. So ideally, you know, if you have them in a nice shed or in an unheated garage, uh, and keep them, again, uh, between 32 and 45 degrees. That's not too long, uh, 100 to 200 hours. Uh, a lot of fruit trees require a lot more uh, chill hours than that. So this is New England Gardening on another rainy New England day. Thanks for watching.